Hello, my name is Colin Maitland. I'm a Microsoft Dynamics CRM Certified Technology Specialist. I'm also a Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I work with Magnetism Solutions, a Microsoft business partner located in New Zealand. In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate how to install and configure the free Microsoft Dynamics 365 app for Windows 10 and how to sign into an online trial of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales using the app. I will also demonstrate some basic navigation to get you started with using the app. As a prerequisite to installing and signing into the app, you should first sign into your Microsoft Dynamics 365 organisation using a web browser to ensure that you are able to connect from your Windows computer. After you've completed this basic connectivity test, you can proceed with the following steps. The first step is to sign into the Microsoft Store and then search for Microsoft Dynamics 365 as follows. You will notice in the search results that there are two versions of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 app. The first one is for Windows 8.1 and the second is for Windows 10. I'm going to select the Windows 10 version to navigate to the information page for this version of the app. From the information page I can view information on related apps such as the Dynamics 365 for Field Service app and the Microsoft Power BI app. If I scroll down through the information page I can find and check the system requirements for the app. The minimum requirements are Windows 10 version 102.40 or higher, either a 32-bit or a 64-bit processor, and a minimum of 300 megabytes of memory. And the recommended requirements are a 2 gigahertz or faster processor, a minimum of 1 gigabyte of memory, and a multi-touch screen. Additional information is displayed below the system requirements and shows that the app requires these permissions the right to use your location, webcam and microphone. I'm now going to scroll back to the top of the information page and click the install button to commence the installation of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 app. Once downloaded, a launch button will be displayed. I will now click the launch button to launch the app for the first time. After launching the app for the first time, it will prompt you to provide the connection information for your instance of Microsoft Dynamics 365. In my case, I've set up and will connect to a trial version of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 online by typing the URL as follows. Notice that the suffix for the URL for connecting to my online trial is crm6.dynamics.com and the prefix of this URL contains the name of the organisation I'm connecting to, that is, January 2017 trial. You will notice that there is also an option to sign up for a free trial from here. If you are connecting to an on-premises deployment of Microsoft Dynamics 365, that deployment will need to be configured as an internet-facing deployment, that is, a deployment that has Active Directory Federation services and claims-based authentication installed and configured, even if you're only going to access the deployment from your internal network rather than from the internet. The Microsoft Dynamics 365 app will not connect to a non-internet-facing deployment of Dynamics 365. After connecting to Dynamics 365 organisation for the first time, you will now be prompted to sign in using your Dynamics 365 credentials. Notice that the suffix on the URL for signing into my online trial is on Microsoft.com, and the prefix contains my sign-in name and the name of the organisation I'm connecting to, that is, Colin at January 2017 trial. The only part of the URL that is the same as that used for connecting to the organisation is the part that is the name of the organisation itself. January 2017 trial. You only need to sign into the Dynamics 365 app once. After this first time setup, you will not be prompted to re-enter either the connection information or your sign-in information. When the app signs into Microsoft Dynamics 365 for the first time, 
it will download the configuration of the system, which includes customizations. This download takes a couple of minutes to complete, depending on the size of the customizations. This download also occurs from time to time if there have been any changes to those customizations in your Dynamics 365 organization. While the customizations are being downloaded, some tips for using the application are displayed. The first tip is that you can swipe up from the bottom edge to see commands related to what you're doing. The second tip is that you can press anywhere on a field to enter data. The third tip is that you can press and hold to see more options. The same as right click with the mouse. When the customizations have finished downloading, the login step is complete. The first page that is displayed within the application is the Relationship Assistant page. This is a feature of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 365. This page also displays a favorites list and also a recent items list. In this case, there is only one notification item. This is a task due to be completed today. There are controls here to allow me to snooze or dismiss this item. At the bottom of the page, there are some icons that allow me to perform some related actions, i.e. create a new activity, create a new record, create a new note, launch a custom after meeting task flow, launch a custom update contact task flow. Task flows are a new feature of Dynamics 365. These are a type of process flow for the Microsoft Dynamics mobile and tablet applications that guide users through a sequence of actions to be completed, such as follow-up actions to be completed after a meeting. After closing this page by clicking the Close button in the top right-hand corner of the page, the more familiar Home page is displayed, e.g the sales dashboard and related Dynamics 365 app navigation bar is now displayed. The navigation bar displays controls to go back to the previous location within the app, navigate to another area within the app such as accounts, contacts and opportunities, return to your home location, in this case the sales dashboard, and open the Relationship Assistant page. The navigation bar also displays a control to search the application. If I search for Contozo, I can see that the search has returned a list of matching accounts, contacts and opportunities. It has also shown me that no matches were found for leads, users, competitors, activities or cases. At the bottom of the dashboard is a control that may be used to display and launch a task flow. Here you can see the previously mentioned after meeting and update contact task flows and an additional follow up with opportunity task flow. You can close the Microsoft Dynamics 365 app by clicking the close icon. When you subsequently relaunch the app you'll be logged into your Dynamics 365 organization automatically and will be returned to you the now familiar Relationship Assistant page. As previously demonstrated, you can navigate to your home location simply by closing the Relationship Assistant page. You will notice that when relaunching the app, there was no download of the customizations. This is because they have not been updated and republished since the last sign-in. Finally, if you need to reconfigure your Microsoft Dynamics 365 app to connect to a different Dynamics 365 organization or to sign in using different sign-in credentials, you can navigate to Apps and Features in Windows, find the Dynamics 365 app and click Advanced Options and then click Reset. This reset process clears the connection and sign-in information so that the next time you launch the app, you will be reprompted for this information.